Ladies and gentlemen, Dane Wigington is a international terrorist located here in the United States. I keep telling you this. All of the people that are following him, he's turning your name over to the United Kingdom, James Bond, British intelligence, that have infiltrated the United States through the private sector jobs that Obama have hired. They've even bribed DA's offices, they bribed police, they bribed the FBI, all at Hillary Clinton bribery in the FBI. That is absolutely the United Kingdom bankers, the Queen of England, the Jesuit high priests. Hollywood is 100% banker funded. It is the, it, it is the most able-bodied mind control organization in the world. And their job is to keep you occupied. They control all the sports networks. They control everything just to keep you stupid to where you don't understand what really is happening on this planet. You don't understand your divinity. They control the religions, the schools. They're controlling your maritime admiralty law that overrides your constitution. If you look up the name Wigington, you won't find many Wiggingtons the way that Dane spells his name in the United States. Now, I have a strange name, Wust, okay? But it's from Wust, Germany, okay? That's what it's from. And there's many of Wust, Wusts and Wiests. Matter of fact, there's a, there's a Hollywood actress that played in... Um, Footloose. Uh, I think her name is... Um, there's many waves of spelling Weist, Wust. Uh, I think her name is Diane Weist or something like that. I can't remember. She played the, the, the mother of the preacher. That's, look it up. But that, that name is related to my name. I looked it up in the coat of arms. So there's many a people you know, from West Germany here. But the, the Queen of England has killed, you know, certain royal families in the UK. And anybody that's there to inherit the throne of their indigenous land, then they want to wipe us out in the United States covertly. And that's what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Dane Wigington, not only, if you look it up, in the coat of arms, his family is really, how you spell it, is W-I-G-G. -G. So the way that he spells it is a deception. And if you go to, um, if you go search the internet and you try to find people the way that he spells his name, there's not many families in the United States. Now, I did find a lot of Wiggingtons in the UK. Lots of them. Because that's where it's from. And ladies and gentlemen, the people that are trying to kill me, covertly, gang stalk, harass, target, electronic torture, me and my family, the one that killed my daughter, that it, it leads to the United Kingdom. And the UK has unlimited money. They'll bribe your DA. They'll bribe your sheriff. They'll bribe your lawyers. They'll bribe everybody in your town. They'll bribe your family. It's, it's the way that Jesus Christ was crucified. Everybody betrayed him. The whole city was influenced by money and power to release Barabbas and kill Christ. This is the way that the UK has operated. Ladies and gentlemen, these people have killed JFK. They have killed Prince. They killed, I think, everybody, anybody that sings songs about geoengineering. Uh, they, they attempted to assassinate... Um, Chuck Norris's son, because Chuck Norris wrote a book about the, the solar radiation management projects. Prince talked about geoengineering and chemtrails. Okay? Uh, I think it was Merle Haggard wrote a song about it. I believe it was. He was wound up dead. Uh, FBI directors. Uh, what's his name? Uh, can't ever remember his name. Um, man, he exposed a lot of things. And he wound up being poisoned. That's one of the ways that they kill you. They, they sneak into your house and poison your food. 
And there's a huge campaign out there saying that, you know, the FBI director, uh, Ted Gunderson, was murdered by poison. Uh, you name it, ladies and gentlemen, anybody that talks about this topic. Look at what happened with... Um, Who's the guy that did the 9-11 movie? Um, he plays on a sitcom series. Um, damn, I can't remember his name. His brother was um, Emilio Estevez. You know who I'm talking about. Um, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen started asking questions about 9-11. Boom! He lost his job immediately. Sabotage. He had to apologize. He had, I mean, it was unbelievable what happens. Anytime you ask questions about the United Kingdom's official story, the bankers, the ones that control the media, oh my God, you are... You are ladies and gentlemen, the Bible scripture says that you're supposed to question. You're always supposed to question. That It says in the Bible that, that Satan is a ravenous wolf, that he will that he will appear as Jesus Christ. And all you got to do is just go to the Vatican and read what these people say. Throughout the years, I even posted a video on Facebook that a lady did. She did a great job. Throughout the years, what the Vatican has said, they are claiming that they're Jesus. They're the Christ. Everything goes through them. They're the vicars of Christ. They're not. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't worship the flesh. So let's get back to Dane Wigington. He is a fraud. I actually chatted with Dane. And all he did was turn my name over to the deep state for me to be assassinated. That's it. That's what he does. He's a name collector for a foreign government. We used to call these people communist. We would arrest them on sight. We'd put them in chains and shackle them and we'd ship them the hell out of this country. What is wrong with Congress? What is wrong with our DA? What is wrong with our sheriff to where we have these terrorist amongst us. How can Hillary Clinton sell Uranium One and, and all these FBI directors hide this stuff? How can the FBI not investigate 9-11? Who, what is going on? They've got to be people in positions that say, oh, we're not going to touch this. You know, let's go arrest somebody that smokes marijuana. Forget about Uranium One and 9-11. Forget about all that stuff. The fake Iran-Iraq war, people dying like crazy, covertly, being assassinated. The private sector jobs, because they're getting bribed. That's it. It's all bribery. It's the story of Judith Iscariot. You take the money and you can't give it back. It's dirt money. If you touch that money, that money is so dirty. I don't care who gives it to you. If you work at the DA's office and you're taking money to prosecute somebody that is innocent and stage a false flag crime and try to create Manchurian candidates within the United States through mind control and manipulation, voice to skull technology, psychotrophic warfare, gang stalking, gaslighting people, you're trying to create terrorists in the United States. That money is rotten to the core. You touch it, you go straight to hell. You better do something dramatic to redeem yourself. That money is so... That money... I'm going to tell you, one of the things that is happening to us truthers is that the spirit of people like JFK and the ones that have been assassinated, thousands of, of incredible men... Let, let, let's, not even, let's even talk about Tesla. His technology is being used as a weapon. And they, they tortured that man. They infiltrated his wife. I mean, and they stole all of his great ideas to give us free energy that operated within the Schumann cavity resonance. No, they pulse radiation. They use this technology as a weapon. Directed energy weapons to destroy countries. That's what they do. Any person that's a genius, oh, attack him. Any person that can see through the veil and the bullshit... Attack, attack, attack. Doesn't matter who you are. I don't care if you're a ditch digger. I don't care if you're a chicken farmer. If you know something about their corruption, they want you dead. Because it's the only thing that keeps them living. Because if everybody knew the truth in America, you would grab your shotgun and run to everybody and you would assassinate these people 
so quickly because they've slaughtered billions and no trillions of people. They slaughtered the American Indians. They slaughtered Vietnamese. They slaughtered the Japan people through. They're doing it through tidal waves right now. And, and Hiroshima and all that stuff. That was all UK banker money. Every war that's ever been fought is through the UK central banking system by the orders of Rome. Men who are fake gods. They're false gods claiming that they're Christ's. It's absolutely insanity. Dane Wigington is the lowest scum of the earth, people. Don't follow that false god. He even works for a company called Bechtel, which is a 65 years they've been established in the UK. This is when all... And guess what? He talks about the chem... No, he doesn't want to mention chemtrails. He doesn't want to mention, mention the water vapor towers like NASA and Lockheed's doing. Doesn't mention, oh, that's, that's just fake. Then he wants to say that the earth climate is heating up naturally, which is total bullshit. The power companies are heating up this planet through the cell towers and the Doppler and the Gwen and the harp and all these, all these frequency weapons that they've, the lake of fire that they've infiltrated that the Bible talked about. He also warned you about the watchers. Dane Wigington is a watcher. He is a fallen angel, ladies and gentlemen. A huge fallen angel. Don't follow a Bechtel-hired corporation that a man whose name goes back to the UK. Do not follow these people. He will turn your name in and you will be assassinated. Your family will be assassinated. And then they're going to start assassinating the, you know, anybody in America that knows about what's going on in this world. And here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Their tyranny and their fascism is never going to stop. So one minute it's going to be spraying chemicals on you. Next minute it's going to be taking your food away and your water. There is going to be a limit to everybody's fascism conformity. So that means that she has to kill everybody. The Jesuits are going to kill everybody in the U.S., to siege this land and hand it over to Prince Harry with his Meghan Markle indigenous wife. Because she is a copper skin indigenous woman. I, I did the research. And they're going to claim that they own this land by blood. And ladies and gentlemen, my family, on my mother's side, is indigenous to the United States. I own this land. This, I have ancient heritage in this land. In Germany, my forefathers own that land. In France, with my grandma, my forefathers are indigenous to the land, not the queen. She claims jurisdiction over a land that she slaughtered every American Indian, 300 million of them, through Cologne family in Columbus. And she claims jurisdiction. She doesn't. Maritime Admiralty Law is a false god. It's a false law. You can't make a law above God's law. And she's doing it. She's because she thinks she's God. Oh, you're smoking marijuana. Oh, yes. Arrest him. Arrest his family. He can't pay child support. Well, guess what? They're the ones that took the house from 20 grand to $400,000. They're the ones that made it to where a man can't supply his family with food and water. They did that. Oh, the inflation. You know, my, look, I was in banking and automotive business. doesn't matter what type of banking you're in. You learn about these things. Okay? I processed hundreds of loans. And I'm telling you that they would give loans to foreigners in a heartbeat, but they won't give a military man a loan. I've seen seven-year military people that couldn't get a, a Honda Civic or a Nissan Sentra. They couldn't, buy, they couldn't, no, he can't have it. Go get a cosigner, they'd tell him. Oh, but if your name is, if you are on a work visa and you are working for a technology company, oh yes, give him a loan, 0% interest. I used to do this shit all the time in California.
And I used to think, what treasonous. They won't even give your own military soldiers loans, but they will give a foreigner a loan. And not only that, the corporations hire the foreigners and they won't hire Americans. You notice that? Because it is British controlled. It's UK. It is bankers. They own these technology companies. And ladies and gentlemen, all this technology is a weapon against you. It is a weapon. Smart meters is a weapon. Cell phones are a weapon. It's microwaving the planet. It's heating up the planet. They create the problem. Oh, we're going to be the solution. We'll cool it down with, with uh, you know, ice nucleated chemicals. And guess who's going to make those ice nucleated? Oh, Bechtel, they'll make it. They'll make them. And they'll save the world. Well, wait a minute. They caused the problem in the first place. God doesn't heat up the planet. They do. Pollution causes UV, UVA, UVB radiation. Matter of fact, I was watching the news and they've got radiation wine now. Of course they got radiation wine because the sun is hyper radiated. It's almost putting out x-rays, ladies and gentlemen. That's how dangerous the sun is now. It's, it's past UV, UVA, UVB radiation. And that's what the ancients used to call the god Ra, Isis Ra El, is Ra El. Ra is the physical. Ra is Satan. I'm telling you. Ra is the left. Isis is the white, right. And, and what does Obama do? He declares a war on Isis, which is a fake war funded by George Soros and Hillary Clinton. It's a fake war, another fake war. It's a fake, fake, fake war. They, those people are driving brand new Toyotas and they've got American weapons. What the hell is wrong with you? There is no Isis except the UK through the Clintons and the George Soros psychopaths funding these psychos that are out there slaughtering good people covertly. There's no difference between ISIS terrorism and the UKs that are infiltrated in the United States. If you work for a private sector and you're an ex-police officer, you are an ISIS terrorist because the money that is going to the foreign ISIS is the same damn money that you're getting. It's the same money. You are ISIS. And in, what's so amazing is you're so ignorant that you think you're fighting ISIS. That's what Satan does. He turns everything backwards. He, he makes you think that you're the good when you're really the evil. If the same money goes to ISIS in foreign lands and Russia, l ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about Russia. I heard John Kerry talking about this. That, that man makes me sick with his skull and bones society. Skull and Bones is Geronimo. Geronimo was the American Indian's Jesus Christ. And these people celebrate the death of Geronimo. You need to wake up. Now the same damn people killed Jesus Christ. Rome. Look it up. Read. Do some work for God's sake. Take your head out of the damn TV and wake up. Geronimo was the American Indian's Jesus Christ, which was my forefathers, Jesus. He was the same, he had same story, same story as Horus, same story as Jesus, same story as Mohammed. It's the same damn story over and over. It's allegorical. And these people celebrate John Kerry. Oh yes, Russian collusion. Ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't for Russia... Hitler would have destroyed the United States. Period. Russia and the U.S. gang forces together and destroyed Hitler from slaughtering millions of good Christian Jews. Conservatives. They were just slaughtering anybody that wouldn't conform to their genetically modified Aryan airhead race of killers. They were breeding hyper genetically modified killers that I call today Mormons, which is Romans. Mormons or Romans. And if you go to Mormonville, you'll see the Project Blue Screen in full force with every city street, a square, just like a the whole city shaped like a computer. And the it's the most underground wired 
city. It's separated from the Schumann Cavity Resonance. And the church is a ward, which is a prison. And they, they treat these people like they're some kind of special race. And they don't like anybody. They don't like Catholics. They don't like Protestants. They don't like, they don't like anybody. You name it. They don't like nobody but Mormons. It's the modern day Aryan race. And that's where the NSA is. That's, that's where the, the Aryan race is going to be. Oh, let me see if he's uh, ejaculating or having sex with his wife. Let me spy on him. That's what the, that's what the Aryans are going to do. You're going to have airheads spying on you because only airheads would want to spy. It would take a moron to even want to do that kind of stuff. I have no desire to watch somebody in their house, in their privacy, having sex with their wife. I'm sorry, but I don't have any desire. I do unto others as I would want done unto myself. I don't want nobody looking at me, and I don't want nobody look at, I don't want to look at nobody. I give people their privacy. Until they start killing babies or something. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, please understand this. They have taken over the truth movement. Alex Jones is a fraud. He's a name collector and he's an assassin. Oliver Stone that created the JFK money movie. Oliver Stone is part of this. He is not a savior. He is part of it. He is part of the deep state. And he, Roger Stone, Oliver Stone, whatever, and they're pretending to be on your side. Jesse Ventura is a fraud. He created the damn word conspiracy. He character assassinated every single person that's telling the truth. Oh, that's a conspiracy. I can hear it now when I go to court. Oh, that's just a conspiracy. Well, why is that? Because the military industrial complex come up with a word called conspiracy? Jesus Christ today would be a conspiracy theorist? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Job would be a conspiracy theorist. Moses, oh, that's just a conspiracy. Uh, Noah, oh, that's just a conspiracy. The water's not coming. The floods, that's a conspiracy. That's the stupidest excuse for the Old Testament that I've ever heard of. It's the dumbest thing I've ever, oh, that's just what stupid, stupid people say. Oh, it's a conspiracy because I don't want to research the truth. I don't have time for the truth. I'm too busy serving false gods and corpses, corporations. Oh, I got to work for my corpse. It's false worship. And if the corporations are destroying the country, then you are serving a false god. Ladies and gentlemen, when Dane Wigington give that speech about there's no water vapor towers located in the Gulf of Mexico that are portable pumping up water vapor, he is a liar. Because there are. I've seen them. I've seen NASA in Mississippi pumping up massive water vapor almost on a daily basis. And he's got the nerve to say, oh no, Lockheed's not doing that. Oh no, there's no water vapor towers. And they're not just pumping up water vapor. It's massive chemical warfare. It's genocide. Just like Ted Gunderson told you. It is genocide. It is genesis. It is genocide. And they're creating it. And he is... Listen, Dane Wigington is the character Judith Iscariot times a million times a million. Because you know how many names he's turning in? It's Judith Iscariot times, you know, let's say there's 25 million people that can see the geoengineering. Oh, they're, they're not so busy looking at their cell phone that they actually look up at the assault in the sky. And Dane Wigington wants to make you think that it's just the airplanes. It's not just the airplanes assaulting you. Most of the assault is coming from Lockheed and NASA and just like the Disney film. Disney is involved. They made that film. Oh, we're going to control the weather. We're going to control the weather. Yeah, they create a weather problem and then they charge you. Right now on your bill, you get a gas charge. Ladies and gentlemen, that's fraud. 
There is no gas. I would like for the power companies to show me their massive, massive gas generators. Come show them to me. I want to see them. Because I believe that the electricity is coming from the ocean because salt water creates electricity. There's cables running. I've been scuba diving. I've seen these cables. They run all through the Gulf of Mexico. And I think that's where they're getting the power. Because if you could take some salt and salt water, salt is a crystalline, and you stir it up, you can run an electric motor on a glass of salt water. And it's a fact. They can get it from the sun. They can get it from the wind. They, electricity is all around us. You can absorb it through the air. And they're just not telling you how they're getting it. But it doesn't cost money to get electricity. Everything is electric. Your body is electricity. Your body powers a 300-watt bulb. I watched a, a girl the other day on uh, That's Incredible th uh, pulsing, throwing uh, what, thousands of, of watts through her body. The body is electric. And as long as you're not grounded and you have the same frequency, you can have all kind of power going through your body. It's unbelievable. There's people that work on the power cables on helicopters. They let electricity just flow right through their body. Long as they're not touching something that's grounded. Long as their body and the, the, the power cable is, 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 is pulsing the same frequency. There's so much that we don't know about electricity. They used to call God electricity, Elohim, the force. God is electricity, guys. They're charging you for God. That's what they're doing. God is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And Jesus is Elohim, electricity. And they're charging you for Jesus. Let me, let me ask you a question. If God created you to inherit the earth, do you think he's going to charge you money for power? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I know for a fact. So, bottom line, Dane Wigington is a Bechtel employee. He works for the British intelligence. And he took possession. You know that Brian Murphy video? He took possession. He infiltrated. Remember that girl, Roxy? Whatever, she went to Dane Wigington seminar and said, hey, he's a fraud. She was right. He is a fraud. And let me tell you, every time I talk about him, the deep state comes down on me big time because he is a banker of London puppet. And he's going down is the greatest Judith Iscariot that ever existed in the human race. He's not just betraying one man. He's betraying millions of men and women. Oh yeah, here's some flyers. Let me mail them to you. He types in his little email. Hey, you need to go send a deep state agent, covert, organized gang stalking, uh, a private sector, private contractor, security officer to go kill her. And that's what he's doing behind doors. I'm telling you, Alex Jones is doing the same damn thing. That's why their YouTube channel is not getting shut down. They're not getting treated like us. I, I used to follow this guy. He's military. Um... What's his name? Um, Potter. Man, when I start doing my research, the name Potter just keeps popping up. Potter, 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 Potter. Potter works for the military. He's employed. That's why he can just roam around. His channel's not getting shut down. He didn't have no voice to skull technology placed in his mouth. He's just telling you all this bullshit. They are listening to us and repeating some of what we say, but it's structured. That's exactly what they're doing. But when it co push comes to shove, they're not going to be on your side. We were. We were going to be, we were going to stand by the meek and fight for you. They're not. They're going to deceive you, and they're going to leave your side, and it's going to be over with. And they're already doing it. You can see it. They, they run out of bullshit to talk about. They don't know what to talk about. They don't know what to talk about. Because all of the people that are in the truth movement are getting prosecuted, falsely murdered, and thrown in jail. And 
because we're not online talking, they don't know what to say because the wisdom doesn't come to them naturally. They have to copy it. It's the same thing that Cox Enterprise did with me. I was the genius working for that company and they, they copied all my ideas. They gave me no credit for it and then they character assassinated me and gaslighted me th throughout my workforce. Oh, well, well, we got three good ideas from them. Let's just get rid of them. This is how these psychos think. They're jealous, jealous gods. They're jealous gods. They're not, they're not, they're not the real god. They're the jealous gods and jealous god bullshit. There is no jealousy in the creator. Only the flesh gods are jealous gods. They're jealous. They're jealous of your divinity and your knowledge and your wisdom and your ability to talk to God, to talk to the force, to talk to the ancestors, to hear, to see things that they can't see. They're really pissed off. They don't like it. That's why, they, that's why they're blood-drinking vampires. Because they, they get a high on drinking your blood. All right, guys. I, there's no anger here. This is passion. It's not anger. It's not hate. It's, it's none of that. I, I, I feel so sorry for Dane Wigington. He is, he is... When he figures out what he's done... It's going to be way too late for his soul. Oh, my God. I feel so... And, and here's the thing. I'm going to be in heaven standing at his trial, testifying against him. And I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be in tears because it's sad. He's got to be some type of clone. Oh, by the way, he's not aged at all. Have you seen that? Because he's not being... Uh, targeted by directed energy weapons. He's not being microwaved. He's not being tortured. You ever notice that? None of that stuff's happening to him or his family. He's not being followed around. His channel's not being shut down. None of that's happening to him because he is Wigington, the UK terrorist in America that has taken over the assault on the human race. And although he's telling you a lot of true things, he will betray you in the end. Write it down. I guarantee it. So will Alex Jones. They will betray you. Thanks for listening.